Amazon Prime Day is typically one of the best days of the year for KeyBabies, which sells baby care and maternity products on its website. Last October, KeyBabies racked up around $500,000 in revenue during the two-day event, said co-founder Ivan Ong. Drawn by the steep discounts KeyBabies offered to customers on Prime Day, a flood of Amazon shoppers snapped up bibs, baby combs, pillows, baby slings and changing pads. But this year, Ong can't afford to offer as many discounts. The company is facing inventory shortages and fears running out of stock on products on a day with especially high consumer demand. Manufacturing and supply chain costs have also soared, making it harder for Ong to offer deals. Prices on everything from steel and lumber to corn, diapers and toilet paper are increasing as a result of surging demand from consumers and strained supply chains. A shortage of shipping containers and bottlenecks at ports have increased the cost of moving products around the world, impacting small sellers and large chains alike. I don't have enough profit margin to do it, Ong said, noting that KeyBabies is paying double the price for shipping containers to import products from China than a year ago. Without major promotions, Ong expects sales to lag this year. Discounts are key factor in driving sales on Prime Day in part because they can help lift sellers' rankings on Amazon's online storefront or appear on special Prime Day deal pages on the site that fuel traffic. Other independent sellers interviewed by CNN Business aren't expecting Prime Day, scheduled to take place June 21 and 22, to be a bonanza this year. They can't offer the promotions they used to because they worry they might not be able to meet customer demand and also can't afford the hit to profits at a time when supply chain expenses are rising. Their troubles come as Amazon is making a push to boost independent merchants in the run-up to the event. Third-party sellers make up close to 60% of Amazon's $236 billion in annual retail sales. And Amazon is running a deal for customers in the weeks before Prime Day to drive shopping at independent merchants. Prime members will get a $10 credit on Prime Day if they spend $10 at select small businesses from June 7th through June 20th. Amazon has called it the biggest promotion for small business sellers in our history. A spokesperson for Amazon said, We continue to innovate and grow Prime Day to ensure our Prime members and selling partners find incredible value. The spokesperson said Amazon is offering more deals this Prime Day than it did last year, with more than 1 million deals from small and medium-sized businesses around the world and more than 2 million deals total, over the course of the event. Pouring fuel on the fire typically promotions are used to help rack up sales and move a high volume of products. But some sellers told CNN Business that promotions will be limited this year for three reasons.